Hi there, I'm Ewan from UserBrain and I'm going to show you how to set up a user test. So log into UserBrain and click create new test. You'll be taken to this page. Um, and what you're going to want to do is enter a test name, a test URL and choose which language you would like your test to be in. UserBrain supports English, German and Spanish with more on the way. Uh, from there you can choose one of our ready-made templates and start customizing your test with various responses including single and multiple choice questions, written responses and rating scales. Um, so here's a test that I've actually made earlier for Apple um, and it's one with a really immersive test scenario. Um, so I've got plenty of different questions in here all with you know various different objectives um, and what we're going to do now is click get testers and we can actually filter by demographics so we can choose device we're going to take uh, computers desktops or laptops and um, we want testers from the USA any age range is fine any gender is fine and we've added a screener um, this is a particularly good screener question for this test which of the following items do you own bicycle car guitar laptop or piano obviously as it's a test for apple the the one we're interested in is laptop so everything else will be ignored and laptop will be approved so now what we're going to do is click continue and choose the number of tests that we want we think five is enough for tests on a regular basis and we have 32 credits available so for this test we will do five and we're going to perform it only once we don't want to repeat the test on a, on a regular basis so now we're going to click place order and now we wait so as you can see that's that's quite quick one test has already came in i think that was about two or three seconds um, so justin is starting his test there and we will now wait until all the rest of them come in so half an hour later we are back and all of our five testers have completed their tests and now we can go to reports and we can see some cool metrics um, such as task completion rate so for task three one of our five testers was not successful meaning we had an 80 percent success rate and the average time on task was three minutes and five seconds and we've also made some notes as well so any notes that you make within the test themselves will appear on the reports page so all in all i hope that's been really really helpful for you and good luck with your first user brain test